Can you work out this mind-bending flower puzzle? G'day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Professor Pete's Classroom. Welcome to Math in the News. In this video, I'm going to explain why this is a terrible question to ask as a math puzzle and suggest an alternative puzzle that you may enjoy a lot more. This puzzle's been around for a couple of weeks now. It's led to a lot of discussion, a lot of arguments, and thousands of comments, including some by people who claim they have the only correct answer and everybody else must be stupid because they can't work it out. I went through 300 responses and looked at all the different answers that were provided just to see what ordinary people thought of this question. Have a look. There's an awful lot of small lines here. These are one or two or maybe three people who proposed an answer. They go all the way from 6 up to 36. We have a lot of people said it was 25 or 26 or 27. We have a smallish number on the, the far left hand end that say there is no answer. So let's have a closer look. There are four lines to the question. Let's look at it in order. Line one. We can see three red flowers are equal to 60, so clearly each flower, according to this system within the puzzle, each flower must be worth 20. In the second line, we have a red flower and two blue flowers equaling 30. Clearly the blue flowers are each worth five. Then the third line, one blue flower take away two yellow flowers equals three. Because the blue flower is worth five, the two yellow flowers must each be equal to one. Then we get to the last line, this should be where we put the answer. One red flower, one blue flower, and one yellow flower equals, and if you didn't look at anything else, you might say immediately, well, that must be 26, because it's 20 plus 5 plus 1. But have a closer look. The person who created this puzzle has drawn the last blue flower differently from the earlier ones. This blue flower only has four petals, which is not the same as a flower with five petals. Do they have the same value? Or does the four petal blue flower have a different value that we can determine? Well, the answer is we can't tell. You could say the five petal flower is worth five, so therefore the four petal flower must be worth four, but we don't know that for sure. As some people on Facebook pointed out, when a florist sells flowers, they don't count the petals, they sell the flowers one at a time, given a certain value per flower. So maybe the four flower is also worth five. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's worth four, but maybe it's a different value. They both have one green leaf. They both have a stem. Do they have any value? Mathematically, we cannot answer this question. There is no definitive, no correct answer. You may have an opinion, but you can't come up with the answer. So my view is to side with the people who said there is no possible answer, all 3.6% of respondents. So what can we conclude from this? Sadly, for those of us who care about mathematics and who enjoy genuine mathematical puzzles, this is simply frustrating. Speaking personally, I love math, I love doing puzzles, but I dislike not being able to figure out a puzzle because it's badly written or just flat out wrong. So here's a different puzzle. This is one that I've seen before. It's not one I invented myself, but I think you'll find this one really is a lot more enjoyable to do because there is one correct answer and you can prove that you're correct once you've worked it through. Look at this figure. How many squares are there? It counts as a square if it's bounded by green lines and it's a different square from all the other squares that you've already counted. There's nothing tricky here. We're not looking for hidden squares or imaginary magic squares. They're just the squares you can see. Let me give you two hints. First of all, the answer is a lot more than 16. And second of all, you may like to try a simpler version of the question like this one. Work out how many squares there are there. That will make it easier to work out the other one. So what do you think of the flat puzzle? Do leave a comment below the video. And what do you think of my square puzzle? Do you have an answer? Would you like to share that with the rest of us? If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe and then you'll receive notification when new videos come out. You can go to our website at profpeat.com for expert resources for teaching K-6 mathematics, and I'll talk to you again soon.